Hey everybody and welcome to the final episode of Beyond Oasis. I know, I know, it feels like we've just started this. Well, actually, let, let's let's not worry about when we actually started this. The the proper thing to worry about is that we're finally gonna finish it. And of course, we have to finish it in the only way we know how: grueling gauntlets of annoying enemies. Cause why not, right? Alright, and let's just summon Dido to re replenish the sliver of life that we did in fact lose. And... Damn, I'm starting to get good at that. Oh. Yeah, the, the negative drawback to the Omega Sword is, well, bombs will explode immediately when you hit them, and they generally explode on you. Let's hit the switch back because it's actually a pseudo puzzle, which is kind of obnoxious. In this level, there's a lot, and I do mean a lot of back and forth, especially if you don't know exactly where you're going to have to go. But no worries for you guys. Now then, if we didn't s switch that switch back, both these jets would be firing up and we would not be able to pro progress. Yeah, you see, you see though what I mean though already about a lot of backtracking. Yeah. All right. Before we get Dido into this, we gotta go and take care of the lightning balls because really, nobody likes lightning balls. Dick Raptor from above. In, in theory, we could be just going and attacking the Ice Pillar, but I'm sure you've already guessed why we're still here. We get a box. Actually, that's not supposed to spawn in until after you kill the fireball. The one time that the game is ridiculously nice to you. Not that I'm complaining. And for those wondering, elixirs are are pretty much like fairies in a bottle. And if Bo, Bo, look, there we go. He's still useless. Still. Since it's the end of the game, they love their little ambushes. My extreme disdain for raptors. Yeah, I'm I'm pretty much a raptor racist. A any game where they're in, I I just ugh, I hate them. Oh. Oh, come on, that was tricky. You have to give it up for that. Because I totally planned that. I... Yeah. Uh-oh. 
We got a tricky puzzle, but we can't go and get that final switch. Especially when we have to deal with the green lightning balls. What's platforming without an obnoxious enemy? I mean, seriously. It, it could almost be fun then. All these green plates will subsequently move the physics defying brown plates. I'm going to call them brown. You may have noticed, but there's also, yep, a little puzzle where you have to light the torches. I knew there was a puzzle where you had to light all the torches. Alright, let's quickly get through here because if we don't press that button, the little amoebas are going to go and spawn infinitely. This is why I like Sword Knight so much, because I swear I hit him that time, but nope. Now this is what I call a hard puzzle. Remember what I said about going back and forth? Yeah. We had to drop down onto the blue platform in order to get the blue key. Yeah. At this point, I'm just being really suicidal. Part of it's my controller, part of it's me just being an idiot. I... I dare you to figure out which parts are which. Yeah. Wizard room, because this is this is always a good idea. I don't even remember Wizrobes being nearly as obnoxious. Shade call, shade calls are always nice. Every time you kill the, uh, it's generally a batch of four wizards, same color. You have to run around and hope that you can find, find them just in the nick of time before they go and ruin your day. Which is not going to go and, yep, see, R ruining day. Like, why the hell did those guys on the right spawn? Did I mention how much I hate the wizards? The thing is that I'm almost pretty sure the, the mechanic is that you have to be in front of them. Like, in, in a direct line of sight. Oh yeah, by the way, there's the special sword move. It's almost worthless. Because you have to do the 360, then forward back forward. Just like the uh, triple slash from the knife, it's not really worth it. Because you'd only probably hit about once in that. So what you're supposed to do here is summon shade so you can find that little teleporting thing so you can shoot it with your armlet. Not 
but more often than not, you'll probably just accidentally hit the uh, summoning portal. Now then, with all of that done, we could finally progress to the blue door. Holla fucking Luya. And of course, we have this bastard. Because wh why would why would I hit him? Why would the sword that's going right straight through him actually hit the? Uh. Now here's the kicker. You're supposed to have shade here. Surprise! Outside the fact that I always have shade. But that big armored knight is the only one, unless you shoot the ice pillar, the only thing that will get you shade. So, if you don't, walk out, walk back in, get shade so you can go and progress through the spikes, and yeah. A, a lot of this stuff is preemptive knowing you need shade. Now with that guy dead, we have access to the final sh onyx. Yeah, actually the uh at least in Legend of Oasis. That's an emerald. Shade's gem is onyx. Dido's aquamarine and Fritz is ruby. That was a good idea to kill those bastards because, well, you're gonna want all the mana you can, and even though bow is completely useless, it's be used for only all of two seconds, still a good idea. Top ourselves off just because we can. And we're gonna get shade for this part because I think. I think, and don't quote me on here, but I think that you could, in fact, just wait out the spawning enemies, but that takes, that takes way too long. So we just kind of cheated and used Shade to get over here, since he's not affected by the wind or anything like that. And cut down dramatically the time. And also, we have all of our gems. Oh, I will show you a way to trivialize this boss fight right quick. Oh. There's no way to trivialize this part. This part's just kill everything. Now then, just walk up as close as you can. And just stand there, take a hit, and attack. Generally, you're supposed to do a little fa faster, a little better than I do. But hey, you see what I mean, though? You can generally hit him way before he can even summon a guy. Yeah, you, there's no way to hit him unless he's already doing a motion, otherwise he'll just continuously dodge. And here we are, the final boss fight. I'm pretty sure that's not how the guy looked uh, in the cutscene. Luckily what we need to do Kill off his tentacles, smack him in the face a couple of times. 
see, one thing I'm not quite understanding is there's that ruby horn, but you don't actually ever hit the horn. You hit him in the face, I think. Unless we are actually jumping to hit him in the face. Oh yes, and the uh, mud babies or whatever. They are explosive. And not kind of explosive, extremely explosive. Oh. Even if you have shade on, that will take half your health. Shade does not stop that at all. But luckily he stops everything else, so... There's only a finite am amount of tentacles that he he will summon in, in, bet in between when you're allowed to actually hit him or not. Oh, actually, that mud baby helped me out so much. At the very most, you'll only have to deal four tentacles. They do not spawn back. Well, they do and they don't. You know what I mean. Yeah! Actually, on the positive side, though, the, su the mud babies can often give you lettuce. If you're lucky. And you don't even have to destroy them. That a Gito or a Gato or whatever his name is, he he's dead. And what's this? We get to find out that the silver armlet is not only your sister, but apparently the silver armlet can. Hide the fact that she has humongous breasts. Seriously, how the hell was she hiding those? Shut up, Bo. I hate you so much. Bo had fun time. Now this warp. Yeah, now. What sin? You weren't doing anything. The sin of cross-dressing? Is, is that it? Is that the sin? I, I never understood the whole... Oh god, I, I couldn't do anything, but I've sinned because I couldn't do anything. That is not... I know... I know you're all like, Zane, stop bitching about the story. But we are at the end. And in fact, I don't really have much to say outside of this, and there will not be anything special at the end, so don't worry if... don't worry that you have to stay through it all. I just wanted to keep the credits in, all that fun stuff. But I do want to thank every single one of you for joining in on this lovely LP of Beyond Oasis. I do hope you guys give it an actual try, because it is really a fun game. It's pretty innovative for its time. Also, I want to thank York for being such a crappy, crappy commentator that it gave me the chutzpah to do this solo and rock at it. And I can say that because he's my friend, so 